Hey everybody, so coming out of the last tutorial that I did on the snow particle systems, we had a couple questions come through and one of them specifically was about a water system or a rain system and needing a few more effects such as trails, sub emitters, etc. Um, so I figure instead of answering one on one, I would just create a follow up tutorial video on how to work with something a bit more complex than just the snow that had particles falling slowly through the sky. So the first thing I'm going to point out is that I'm in Unity 2023.2.7F1. Uh, at some point in the relatively recent uh, history of releases, Unity has implemented a template system for the VFX graph. So we're going to take advantage of that and use it heavily to try to get through this as quickly as possible you can accomplish anything that we're doing here without being in this new uh, templatized system. It's just going to take you a bit longer. So we're going to leverage it and we're going to keep on trucking. So the first thing that we want to do is create a visual effect graph. So this is the template system that I was talking about. You have minimal system, a simple loop, a simple burst, a simple trail that looks like it follows along a spline, a head in trail, a firework, and then an empty VFX graph. So I think the closest thing to rain for me is going to be a firework. It's just going to essentially launch in an inverted fashion and explode as it hits the ground. Um, we may want to use some pieces of head and trail so that the pieces of rain have trails falling behind them. Um, so let's get to work on starting our own stylized rain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit create on firework. We're going to call this rain tutorial. And I'm going to open this up. So let's look at what we have right now, and then we'll start extrapolating from there. So immediately the template system has set up a sub emitter for me, which is fantastic. Um, We'll go down and look at that in just a second. The spawn system is very standard. It's going to spawn three of these particles per second. Then in the initialized particle, we have a capacity. So how many can you hold at the same time? Bounds for this initialization. Lifetime random, which what we're going to do to simplify the collision of the rain particle and the ground is set all of their lifetimes and speeds to be the exact same um, so that they should theoretically all explode at the end of their life uh, and it doesn't really matter about what they're colliding with so we're kind of cheating a bit there uh, to speed ourselves up then you have set color random from gradient um, this is cleverly used in that they have two separate colors um, so what this is going to look like is it will be either all orange or all blue. Um, so these are the two colors. There is no in between, there is no gradient. So if I come back into this, this is going to pick between these two fixed colors. Then we have a set position in an arc sphere for the initialization of that particle, uh, the shape that it's generating from, and an initial velocity that's being set. So this velocity is positive. We're going to want to change that to negative so that it's moving downwards. Um, gravity is also taking hold of this. So the way the firework works now is that it has the initial pop of velocity up. It slows with gravity and eventually dies. Um, so after the arc comes back down and gravity is taken hold, you'll then have the spawn event over here. We also have linear drag, so just basic drag here. Um, and a trigger event, which is what we care the most about within this template. So the trigger event on die means that when the lifetime runs up, it will trigger this event, which is going to run another sequence, just like we looked at previously, of initializing a lot more particles, so a much larger capacity over a shorter lifetime with a source position that is set from the position of death of the previous uh, particle. It's also going to inherit the source color. So this splash or this firework pop will be the exact same color as the particle that died. Then we're going to add a position to the initialization of the particle, and we're going to set a new velocity. In the update, we have basic gravity 
And then we have, for both of these, an output particle quad that is really uh, nothing fancy using a default dot main texture. And then the size over life, the firework that's initially fired up is scaling up in size rapidly. And these firework pops are going to scale down in size rapidly. We also have a fade in opacity for multiply color over life. All of this I could have figured out working from the standard without the templates, but having the templates set this up for me, which is great. So let's go ahead and work through what changes we would want to make to get this to start to look like rain. Um, so we'll do that with this visual window off to the side here. I'm gonna scale all of this up so we have more room to look at what we're doing. So let's just work our way down. Um, I'll come back to rate later. I'll come back to capacity later. For lifetime, I, I want this to eventually be the same. So I'll just go ahead and set that for right now. Set color random. Uh, rain is not bright orange. So we do want to change this up. Let's go ahead and change fixed to a blend, just a classic. And then what we want to do is move these sliders. Probably set up one additional color here. And I'm going to want orange to go to blue. The far right going to light blue is good and the middle I want to go to somewhere in between. Somewhere like that. And then we can manipulate this as we so choose. So blue, we have dark blue, light blue, medium blues, anywhere in between, it's picking a color at random. The next thing that I want to do is set position shape. We do not really want the arc sphere. What we'd want instead is a box. So I'm gonna set up the, ooh, not a kill box. That is not what I want. I want a set position box, and then I'm going to delete the arc sphere. And in doing that, I want the box to change to like a 10 by 10. Um, if you're ever not sure which axes to move in, just kind of manipulate your camera around here on the left, and you'll be able to see the X and the Z and understand that those are the axes that are working for you. So now it's kind of launching from this box upwards. Um, so the immediate thing that I want to do is to change the velocity and direction to negative. And I want the speed to be the same across. So we can see exactly where they're all falling to. All right, so they're all exploding roughly at the same spot. A few of them are a little high or low, so I don't know if that means we want to turn off something like a drag coefficient. seem to be relatively constant here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So I think that that's looking great. Uh, the trigger event on die will leave the same for now, um, but we will want to probably the only thing that I care a ton about 
is that the gravity is lessened so that they kind of come up and, and dissipate, um, meaning their life will be less. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I also think I want them to be significantly less large. So I want to bring all of this down. So now the splashes look a bit more realistic. And I also want the main particles here to not scale up like they do. I'm just going to set it flat at one. Something like that. Can't see a ton, so what I'll probably do is turn off the sun for now. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Now let's use some of our magic and hit the plus sign and add a head and trail into this scene. So I'm going to create. I don't really care about the head of a head and trail. I just want the trail, but I do want to see what triggers it. So we have a trigger event rate over time that's set to 60. Theoretically, I can get rid of all of that and pull all of this over here. Then I should be able to come in here and create a trigger event rate over time and set it to 60. If you do not see that, again, the, the place where that lives is Preferences. So you go Edit, Preferences, Visual Effects, and turn on the Experimental Operators and Blocks. And then you'll be able to make your own trigger. Now that I have that trigger, I'm going to drag it over here. And let's see what happens. So you can now see that there is a trail behind each of these. So that's great. Now what I want to do is turn the rate up to 25 and the capacity up to 50. Now we're starting to get something that I'm pretty happy with. Something like that. That'll do. Okay, so I think that that's good enough for right this moment. What I'd probably do is come in here and make some changes. But I believe for right now, uh, the trails that I'm seeing are perfectly okay. Not too worried about it. Um, the only thing I want to do is, this is, it's stylized, but it's honestly too stylized and cartoony. So I just want to change this blue to something that's a bit more realistic. And then this one can be all the way up here. So that's the idea there. So the only other thing that I think that we want to do is to just get it a bit more moody. So let me create a volume, a global volume, create a new profile as we've done previously, add one override for exposure, add one override for fog, and have one override for vignette. And I think between those three effects, we're gonna get something pretty decent. So here's the vignette. Okay, here is the fog. Enabled, pull that really, really close. And then the exposure, we can pull into something that's pretty special here. So. Now with a few button clicks, we've gotten all of that working. All right, just for the sake of looking at what we've done at a decent frame rate, this is the rain effect that we have working. If we wanted to, we could come back in here and try to do a few more effects. We could even model out a basic road with a curb 
and uh, look into actual collision driving the pops at the end here when they splash. Um, if we wanted to do that, just let me know in the comments. We'll come back into this. Um, but we'll leave it here for now. I think this is a successful take at how to make rain in 15 minutes inside of Unity. Uh, yes, it's stylized. We can always pull it more and more realistic as is helpful. So let me know. What do you want to see next? Have a great rest of your day. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See ya.